But as I was saying, people, slow to anger. You know, don't go there. Well, what, what if Will Smith was slow to anger? Well, it's a time and a place to handle certain things. You know, I don't know what was going on behind the scenes, but I know that's what just happened. That was quick response. That happened in a matter of a minute and 30 seconds, probably. It happened that fast. And that's how fast he reacted. Slow to anger. You see, I can take a lot. And I'm, I'm trying to, y'all think, because I'm a Christian, I can't be mad. I can't get angry. I can't get upset. I can't go off. You wrong as hell. As a Christian, I'm made to go off like a bomb. When it's time, it is time. Open your mouth, Houston McCollum Beard Jr. All right. It is time. I've been holding my tongue for long enough. You done vexed my soul long enough. I've been slow to anger long enough. Now it's time for you to get it. And you finna get it. Because I've been holding this. I've been giving you warnings here and there. Saying little cold words. But you ain't been paying attention. A simple cold word. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. But just stop, please. Stop now, please. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? I've been holding this in for long enough. Blah! A volcano goes off. And everything I meditated on and been thinking on is finally coming out. You should have waited to tell me that I didn't really want to go there. <laughs> but you push me. You work, you operate by the devil. What you talking about? You the devils. They kept going. They kept going at Jesus. Kept going at Jesus. Kept going at Jesus. If you knew my father, you'll do the works of Abraham. What you talking about? Abraham. Uh, 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 uh. Towards the end, you know what? You brutal vipers, you devils, you. You are your father the devil. Who what prophets have you not? <laughs> hey people. Hey. Slow time. Hey Moses. The people are erring down there. Lord, 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 Lord. No, don't, don't do that. Please, 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 please. <laughs> please. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Halfway down the mountain. What the hell is going on here? Ralph, give me the swords. Hey, who you gonna choose right now? What? What? <laughs> hey, God's will will be done. God told me, hey man, they messing up. Oh, no, no, no. A lot of people say God repented of what he gonna do. No, he didn't. He did exactly what he wanted to do to the people who did not choose his side. He destroyed them. But then he gave them a, a chance. Hey, what you gonna do? Well, God is merciful. So I'm gonna continue on and go back to the ways of the Egyptians. <laughs> Today is your last day. You get no other choice. The wicked dig a pit and fall in it themselves. <laughs> God prepares a pit for them. You know, the earth opened up and Swallow up people whole during that time, like, oh, they ain't take they ain't take heed to what the Lord was saying, what God was saying to them, and a pit opened up and swallowed them whole. A lot of things that's written in the Bible have happened similar in the past, and God's just telling you it's gonna happen. The wicked will be destroyed, and with that, there's no God has he has no respect of persons. But the righteous obtain a favor. Oh, what's righteous qualities? Not being a liar, helping the poor, knowing when to react to certain things, not being angry all the time. Like I'm in a leadership position at my job, and I watch things go on for weeks. Because I'm like I'm gonna give people a chance to air, correct the error of their ways. 
I wonder who like who else like that. God is. What happens when you start living for God? You start to become like Him. You start to walk like Christ. They're not Him, but His characteristics start to bleed off from you. So you're slow. You're like, I'm gonna give Him a chance. A few months ago, I watched. I corrected a guy one time. Everybody working. He throwing paper balls. So I watched him, and then I'm watching everybody load the stuff. He's sitting back throwing paper balls. So I'm like, hey, man, I just sit here and watch. Everybody work, except you. I've been working. Now, this is the truth of the matter now. Let me go back to the story. So after he, so he went off. He's like, I'm finna go. I'm like, all right. Bye. You understand? Fools hate instruction. Hate rebuke. They hate it. Even if they know they're wrong. So, you see, I'm telling you what God did to justify what I did. After he left, one of my coworkers come up. And he said, when I came up on the job, so-and-so told me he ain't been doing nothing all day. I'm like, wow. Wow. Oh, the Lord saw it. The Lord said, Houston, see it. The Lord said, Houston, do something about it. Okay. Do something about it. And I'm going to show you, you doing something about it was correct. Okay. That's how it works, people. Don't be scared to correct the fool. <laughs> you understand? Oh, I didn't correct this guy a few, few times. He still worked with us. Because I, I believe in everybody got to work, man. You understand? I, I hate it. But, you know, eventually, if people don't take heed, they're going to fall by their own sword. They're going to fall on their own ass. Hard head make a soft behind ass. Yes, I said it, ass. I love that bird. It's written in the Bible. <laughs> you see, you're not using it correctly like the Bible uses it. Shut up. There's a lot of things you ain't using correctly like the Bible uses. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, don't go there with me. Not today. Not today. I've been building this up. I've been building this up. Like I talk to people, I tell people certain things, and I'm sure you have done this before. You to tell why you want to pick today of all days to do it. Just, let me tell you something. I trust my spiritual senses. <laughs> if I ain't been thinking about it. And I'm in computer with my father about it. And he tell me to open my mouth and talk about it. Today is the day. I don't care what's going on in your life. I'm being real. People think because hardships and things and such matter go on in their life that it's certain things you don't need to talk about today. Certain things need to be talked about. One thing about it, things are not going to stop because of you going through something special. So I'm going through a hard time, a death in the family, or this and that. I'm just being real with y'all people. Some things, things just got to be told. He's like, that's just too much for me. I'm, I'm sure Job was like, hey, what's going on, first servant? Hey, man, they just, the savings came in, and they all snatched all your cattle. What? Oh, man. The other servant. Hey, they just did this. Hey, the kids just... A tornado just came and destroyed all your kids. There's never a perfect time to tell anything. <laughs> Sometimes it's just time to tell it. Well, I'm going to hold off on telling him his kids did. Because he gets, he got so much bad news today. Just, he got so much bad news. What's wrong with y'all people? If God said on my heart to say it, I'm going to say it. Whether you like it or not. I don't care what you what you feel. I'm compassionate. But this these words I'm telling you right now that God put in my heart to tell you might be some health to your bones. People, wake up. A foolish woman destroys her own house with her own two hands. A lot of times, foolish women destroy their own two house with their two hands because they don't put the man in the head of the stand. The man, like, man, we got too many people living here. 
the woman. You supposed to you you don't know nothing about God. A man that don't manage his house well, how can he manage the things that of God? Well, if a woman, hey, listen to the man. It's gonna be down almost impossible. I'm gonna say damn near impossible. There you go, damn near impossible <laughs> to get your house in order if the woman won't even get in submission to you and take that advice that you're telling her. You should have a church by now. Hmm. You won't even listen to me. Did the church not listen? <laughs> you won't even do what I tell you to do. Hmm. Both my marriages ended the same way. Me getting kicked out. <laughs> at first I was like, man, it's so messed up. I like at first I used to try to blame everybody else. I'm like, it's me. It's me. I done came to the conclusion, it's me. And it's, and it's not a bad reason it's me neither. It's me. It is me. <laughs> I accept full responsibility. But being kicked out twice. Huh. It's me. I'm going to tell you something. When the zeal for God's kingdom start eating me up, it's me, man. I'm telling you straight up. No woman's finna take it from me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's my, it's my fault. Yeah. It's my fault for telling the truth and trying to get my house in order and the woman not listening. It's my fault. Soul is. I take full of responsibility for my actions, Lord. Do what you do. And every time, God always look after me. He always put my feet back on solid ground. Why? Because I could kill my tongue for as long as I could. And then I'd be like, you know what? Open your mouth. I'd have warned both wives the same thing. Don't let some people y'all. It's time to clean house. Stop going everywhere. So I listen to everybody. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, me. Get on my nerve. I'm trying to tell. Oh, I'm trying to tell. <laughs> I can laugh at it now. But if, when I'm going through it, it ain't funny. You know how hard it is to try to tell somebody something and they just don't listen? Eventually, God say, dust your feet off. I don't care if it's wife, child, Mama, daddy, cousin, auntie, co-worker, employee, whatever it takes. I don't care when it comes to the truth. I'm going to say what needs to be said. God, I ain't going to get to heaven. Houston, why are you warning them? Because <laughs> I'm a coward and I'm a people pleaser. So... I told everybody what I felt you needed me to tell them. So I ain't finna get rejected for that. Go to who all my tell you to go to. And what I command you to say to say. And if you tell them, and that's gonna, it's not gonna be you gonna I'm gonna release you from that. And if you tell them, I'm gonna release you from that. Because you warned them. And but if you don't warn them, I will hell you accountable for it. A lot of y'all gonna be held accountable for a lot of things. And the major thing you'll be held accountable for by putting a bit in your mouth and holding your tongue. Why did you say something? I didn't talk to people before. You know, I, was just, I just don't like to get in people's business. Well, I don't like to get in people's business neither, but I'm about my father's business and his business is people. So, wow! If it's got something to do with God and what he wants me to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I'm not trying to be a most... A busy about the other people affairs. You got to understand what I'm saying. You like a nosy gossiping, just doing stuff. Just to, but if you about your father's business, you are a part of God's affairs. <laughs> oh man, people, I'm going there today. A lot of y'all cowardly lions. You need to go see the wizard, <laughs> not the wizard. You need to go see God. That's who the wizard is supposed to be an interpretation of God. I need love. Go to God. I don't have a, if I only had a brain, go find God. I need heart. 
you want love? Go find God. What was it? Call the lion, the tin man, the scarecrow. The scarecrow was scared all the time. Let me fix your fear. Fear no man but me. No, that was the, the lion, was the coward, the lion. He won, he was feared. The scarecrow needed a brain, and the tin man needed a heart. And Dorothy just lost trying to find her way home. And you know what? You can go to God and get all those characteristics. You can go to God and find your way home. You can conquer fear. You can get a heart and learn how to love correctly. And you get a brain full of knowledge. Oh, man, that's great, boy. I didn't even think about that. That just came up out of nowhere. All the things you're seeking from the world, God can give you. Seek first heavenly things and everything. Else. God wants your heart right. Seek your heart. Seek get your heart right. Fear, God wants you to conquer fear. You understand? He does. Knowledge, he wants you to be smarter. Find your way. God really wants you to find your way. That's why he got that word there. That's why he tell you what to do. It's weird like in the um, Wizard of Oz, they're fighting against witches, flying monkeys, demons, all types of things. And they defeated the wicked witch with water. Baptized her. <laughs> You devil, you. Psh, I'm melting. Sometimes all a few sorcerers and witches need is a little water. That living water. The word of God. But y'all too scared to say something. I remember his wife was telling me, you are not a true Christian. You, all you do is tell me what I don't want to hear. <laughs> Somebody need to tell you. You might want to question those other people in your life that call themselves Christians. They don't care about your soul. Houston McCullum Beard Jr. cares because God cares. And God says it's on my mind to tell you about these certain things. And you just don't want to listen. And then I'll forget about it. And then, then you call me and be like, I'm just going through some things. I put my trust in God. I don't want to hear. It. Okay, why you call me? You know I'm going to tell you about God. Don't call me <laughs> if you don't want to hear about God. You want to hear the Lord is my help. You don't want to hear none of those things. Please don't call my phone. If you don't want to be corrected, please don't call my phone. If you want to be told what the errors are, please don't call my phone. Do you hear me? I'm, I'm giving a message here. If you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, call me. And I'll tell it. I'm going to tell you whatever God wants me to tell you if it's truthful. And don't piss me off either. Because you might get a double dose. Of truth. Then I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I don't hate you because I tell you the truth now. People think that's hate. Those people that's lying to you. That ain't trying to change you from the area of your ways. They hate you. Because they work for the devil. They want you to die in sin. They want you to die in your sin. But those people that tell you the truth. They actually look after your souls. It's a good lesson this morning. I'm going to have to listen to this myself. I believe I need some of these words too. Hmm. But glory be to God, people. I hope you have a blessed day. Pray for favor. Pray for knowledge. Pray for heart. Pray for the Spirit, Holy Spirit to be poured out in your life. To give you the boldness to spread the gospel. To teach the gospel. To show the compassion of the gospel. To show the wrath of God. To show the fear of God. You need it all, people. Stop talking about tithing all the time. You ain't been blessed because you ain't tired. I'm tired as hell sometimes. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I, I noticed that most uh, preachers are comedians. Hmm. I bet Jesus was funny as I don't know what, but <laughs> I bet he was hilarious around the disciples. I like to think they love to hear the word of God around him, but I bet he was hilarious, man. We get our characteristics from him. You know, God likes joy too, but he likes sorrow too. He likes all of it. You know, loosen up. Put a smile on your face. Laugh a little. Live a little. According to God's word and his plan for your life. Have a blessed day.